the coach replacing Pendo. Steve Goodrich, the cut inside to Brian Earl for two. That would tie it early. Second quarter, Tigers down. Goodrich, another great cut inside to Gabe Lewillis for two. Cuts the lead to two, but Texas would stay in it. Still in the second. Nadubem Waneke, the jam. Texas would lead by four at the break. Tigers down one, though, in the third. Mitch Henderson, the penetration, the pass outside to James Mastaglio, who hits the three. Princeton wins it 62 to 56. We usually expect these kind of big victories by Princeton. And look who's watching. Don Nelson scouting Kenny Thomas in New Mexico. Check out the spot shadow. All five defenders converge on Thomas. He's good. He still gets the hoop and foul. New Mexico up by 17. Later in the half, Thomas shows his range. From three. He finished with 17 for the game. New Mexico running away with it. I mean, running away. His name is Royce Olney. You're going to hear a lot from this guy during the season. Lobos were up by 24. Second half, they were up 30 and still hustling. Look at Olney. Up 30, and he's diving for the loose ball. Over to Lamont Long. Big game for Lamont Long and a big victory. Nine with the damage. Meanwhile, NC State fighting, fighting back. 40 seconds to play down three. Archie Miller nails the NBA three. We're tied. Let's flash back to March 96. Princeton, UCLA, NCAA tournament. What does Princeton do when they need a basket? Back door. Any surprise? Seconds remaining. Game tied at 36. What do you think Princeton will do? A, back door. B, back door. C, back door. D, all of the above. I know, I know, I know. Believe it or not, D. Princeton goes back door. Yeah, three seconds to go. <laughs> yes, finding I, I, Brian I, I, Earl. Ishua Benjamin called for goaltending. Princeton up by two. Watch it again. Goodrich setting the nice pick. And they get it done with a goaltending call. NC State has one last chance, though. Damon Thornton throws up the shot. Issue of Benjamin misses the putback. And Princeton hangs on. The Princeton Tigers are 2-0, folks. Oh I got money coming in. All Carolina. Vince Carter. Alley-oop jams it. Carter had 15. Carolina's up 17 to the half, just like we knew. Mark Tar Njai draining this one. Carolina up big in the second half. Then on the run, Ed Cota, nice move, nice move. Lay in, easy day. Uh, this is no shocker here. The Tar Hills have not. Saying hello before the game. First half, Indiana freshman Luke Recker, the backstreet oop to Andre Patterson. Still in the first, more of the freshman. Recker, Mr. Basketball in Indiana last year. Got a three ball. Cheney can't look at Recker anymore. I hate that guy. Second half, Temple charging back. Julian Dunkley buries a third rock. Dunkley, a good name for a basketball player. Temple by three. Now it's Knight who can't bear to watch. Temple went on an 8-0 run. Later in the second, Lamont Barnes, Rimbo. Temple up five. Then Pepe Sanchez to Barnes for another Dances with Iron. 7-0 run by Temple there, and I would not want to be a Hoosier running sprints at 2 a.m. on Saturday morning. Go. Rafe LaFrenz, early first. LaFrenz grabs a board. They didn't even need that, but it went in. Jayhawks up seven. Paul Pierce looking for LaFrenz for another hoop. Plus a foul. The friends had 22 points, 19 boards of the night. They had nobody to match up with him. Freshman. Eric Chenoweth throws down in a dunk, getting some action in. Three minutes left of the first. Pierce bang in a three-pointer. He had 18 points to go over 1,000 in his KU career. These guys could win it this year. We said that last year, didn't we? Point guard Ryan Robertson feeds LaFrenz for an alley. Oop, jam. Roy looking on. And at Maryland, South Carolina, Eddie Fogler, last year's SEC Coach of the Year, Leron Prophet with a steal and a 70-foot prayer. Oh! Should it have counted? Timmy Higgins says yes, and Prophet agrees with a call. We'd be tied at the half. Second quarter, B.J. McKee took over. Double clutch runner. He would finish with 24. Fourth quarter, Terrell Stokes penetrates and Profits three ball. Oh, that's sweet, wasn't it? Maryland up four, but the Gamecocks would answer. Melvin Watson calls glass on the three here. What's he banging? Oh, we're going to overtime. Gary Williams can't believe it. He's stunned. Maryland down two. Profit wearing number 10 now, by the way. Hits the three pointer. Terps up one. Profit with 22. Seconds later, Watson, what would he do? You see the clock, and he hits the three, and South Carolina holding on to win. Highly regarded freshman class, Chris Burgess in the follow-up.
The Nate James miss. Duke led 35-9 at halftime. Then it's Wojo. Sports Illustrated cover boy hustling. Wojo finds Elton Brand, another freshman. We're up in Peekskill, not far from West Point. And it's Brand looking for Burgess. Burgess, look out below. Duke rolls by the final of 78 life as URI Rams went into the game ranked 25th in the nation he gets some help from Catino Mobley in the second half drains the baseline three then Mobley crossing over hits the pull-up three more from Mobley on the receiving end of the alley-oop from Preston Murphy and Herrick likes that Mobley 26 points on eight of eight shooting URI put the finishing touches on the win Luther Clay jams at home and that's the ineligible recruit Lamar Odom we can hardly wait to get his shot with the second. 74-73, Miami of Ohio. Tennessee's Tony Harris takes the inbounds. He'll go length of the court. He misses the shot, but that's okay because the center, Charles Hathaway, is there with a putback. Tennessee wins 75-74 at the buzzer as the fans storm the court. Harris at 18 points, Hathaway 17 in the victory. For win number 46 straight at home. Jarvis Kelly Sonny dissed and dismissed by the All-American Rafe LaFriends. Ryan Robertson back to LaFriends. No diggity. Rafe was the bomb. 26 points, 10 boards. More trouble for Kelly Sonny. Freshman Eric Chenoweth with the big smack. Rookie had five blocks in the night. Now, you know Kelly Sonny had to represent somehow. One-handed mojo off the... Rebound, he had eight offensive rebounds and 25 points, but Kansas led 20 at the break. Terry Nooner misses the three. Chenoweth, oh, no, he didn't, y'all. For real, though, the freshman, Chenoweth, 15 points, 12 boards. Kansas cruises 88-61. Paul Pierce and Chenoweth both had double appraisals. Bryce Drew sitting out with the leg injury. His teammates had to stop Brian Cardinal first half. Cardinal, baseline jumper, nails it. Kid at 16 first half points. Homer Drew's team down four early. More Cardinal. Three from the top of the key. Boo yeah. Part of a 9 0 Purdue run. Cardinal 20 for the game. Second half, though, he's puffing up a bit. After a missed free throw, Cardinal and Bill Jenkins get tangled up. How you gonna play me, kid? Like that? Huh? Like that? Cardinal's team is like, get out of here. Boilermakers pull away second half. Tony Mayfield fires a bullet into Gary McQuay. Gets rocked in the head and still cranks the jam. McQuay had 10. Valparaiso upset at the loss. They made a game out of it. Purdue wins at 73. Have Willie Farley. Big Willie Styles getting jiggy with it. Farley had eight points and nine boards. Then Tremaine Folks, jam. Oh, jam. Folks had 22.7. 42nd meeting between these two teams on ESPN, not on ESPN. Well, first quarter, Tyson Wheeler, the dish to Tory Jefferson for the lay in Rhode Island, up 22 20. But freshman Khalida El Amin would help UConn fight back. The double clutch off the glass, second half, UConn pulling away. Ricky Moore to Kevin Freeman, 53 48. UConn with the lead. More from El Amin. Tough off the dribble and the sweet swooping kiss. <laughs> he had 23. Lamar Odom in street clothes, not in a Rams uniform, as Rhode Island would no doubt like to see. UConn wins 80 to 67. Turning where Lou Henson turned up after a 23-year absence. Time running down on the shot clock. Kenny Thomas scores in the reverse lane. Thomas with 23. Lobos built an 11-point lead in the second half, and with 30 ticks left in the game, the Aggies come back. Lewis Richardson hits a three, cuts the lead to five seconds, ticking down Denmark Reed. Nothing rotten with this Denmark. Cuts it to 29 with that three. He had 29. Sorry, cuts the lead to just two. It's a four-point lead after Dave Bliss team hit two free throws, and those free throws were huge because Lewis Richardson chucks in a bomb. Looks like it should be worth four points from how far out it was, but it's only three. And New Cleveland State, he's clapping because he's got a terrific front court. Maceo Baston one-handed. 18-10 Wolverines. Now the tractor trailer with the offensive board. And the Tomahawk. 10 points, 10 boards in the first half for the tractor. He is big. Second half, more of the same. Robert Trailer. No. He had four of those in the night. Late in the second, Robert Reed. Ed to Gerard Ward to Maceo Baston getting up for the downstroke. Baston, 17 points, five boards. And congratulations to Coach Ellerby. He's got a win. Baston scored 17 points. Ward, 14 points, nine. Team on against number 11, Xavier. Gary Lumpkin pushes it up. Torrey Braggs finishes it off. He had 11 points in 18 minutes. Lenny Brown passes to Lumpkin in the corner for three of his 16. James Posey, strike a Posey. There's nothing to it. Vote. And that's going to take some soap.
Xavier dished out 25 assists, forced 32 turnovers, missed Uber State. Watched Utah run away 40 27 at the half. Andre Miller there, and then Hanno Matola, 25 points for him. And that's the end of that highlight. <laughs> Hanno Matola, 24 Utes and double. Take a look at the pictures. There's Bill fixing the tie through the loop. Carolina, great ball movement. Anton underneath, 11 of 15 in 34 minutes, 26 points in his return. Richmond try to hang tight. Marseille Brown, sugar Mr. Poon. Richmond 11 for 32 from three-point land, but Carolina too much. Shimon Williams, three of six from behind the arc. He had 21 and 13. And then Williams, sploosh, sploosh. The heel shot, 64%. That's Blue Blues brought to you by the NBA Tonight's Jason Jackson. Inside Domas, the home game since 94. Second quarter, Western Kentucky struggling. Here come the Jayhawks and Ryan Robertson, and one. 33-12, Kansas in control. Third quarter, Western Kentucky comes back. Paul Pierce loses control. Rayvon Ferris at the other end with the bank shot. He had 11. Western Kentucky within seven. Roy Williams breaks a sweat. Fourth quarter, the friends take so Look at this. Sweet fadeaway. 57-48, Candace and LaFrenz powering 8 of 14 from the line. It's win number 250 for Roy Williams. 47 wins in a row. But 88th overall. Oh, that is a serious wake-up call that Steve Wojciechowski got. But Duke's freshman center, Elton Brand, wide awake. Forces the turnover. Wojo gains control. Back to Brand. I'm feeling you, kid. I am feeling you. Duke, 24 points off. 18 Davidson miscues in the first half alone. Davidson took a run in the second half. Stephen Marshall getting the offensive rebound. He had nine offensive boards and 20 points, but it was all Duke from there. Chris Burgess to Wojciechowski. Wojo, smooth. 16 points Wojciechowski had. Duke finished the game with a 43-16 run and a 100. Purdue's leading scorer, Chad Austin, did not play. He had a broken nose. Here's what the slam dunk sounds like. Northeast Louisiana, one bright spot, Moe's Bell. Ooh. Two of Bell's 12 points. Later in the first half, Purdue up 11. Brad Miller, no look pass to Mike Robinson. Robinson lays it in. Kid had a radar lock. 13 of 15 shooting Robinson was. Purdue up 13. More from Robinson. Robinson, the pick, the steal, the deal. For real, though. No, he didn't, y'all. Uh, Robinson converting one of... Second half, Rob Turner pushing it. His pass knocked away. Cedric Dixon saves it, and then he hustles, and he's rewarded for his hustle. Beat him. Basket and the foul. UAB up 55-54, and that's when Bobby Knight went ballistic on the referees. Kicks the scores table. First tee of the season for Bobby. But planned or not, it certainly worked as Hoosiers responded. A.J. Guyton hit on all five of his second-half shots, part of a 14-0 Hoosier run. That basket and foul. Indy Tradition doesn't matter. The games do. Kansas had only a six-point lead in the second quarter until Paul Pierce... 19 for Pierce, Kansas up 33-25. Next trip down, Billy Thomas with a miss. Pierce out of nowhere, then kicks it to Ryan Robertson. And Ryan, Ryan nails the J from the 17. Nice roll. Pierce also had 10 boards. Pierce blocks Corey Osborne shot, stays in bounds, feeds Kenny Gregory, spin arama Kansas led 48-32 at the break. End of the third, Grant Rice misses the three. Nick Bradford grabs the rebound. Eric Chenoweth. Villa Park High in Orange County dunked me. Kansas wins 92-68. LaFrenz, the 6'11 senior, nine points. The first time Southern in the Lobo Classic. Kenny Thomas, that's good ball movement for the Lobos. Royce Olney throws the lob and Clayton Shields, oop. Shields had 22 and nine boards. Then Thomas, big, strong inside. How about pump fake seal and glass? Thomas had 20 and 10. Lobos win 90-67. Lobo's first quarter, freshman Robin O'Kelly in the lane and scores. He had 25, 8 of 14 shooting. O'Kelly again, this time from the suburbs. Squish. 4 of 6 from there. Wake was 7 of 15. Georgetown just 1 of 7. Second quarter, there's Tony Rutland back, driving to the hoop, injuring the same knee he's had surgery on. He would not return for precautionary measures. Third quarter, Damon Jackson and one. Part of an 8-0 Hoya run, trying to make a comeback. Fourth quarter, tied at 54, Robert O'Kelly. Spin and float. Wake by two. Georgetown tries to answer. Warren Woods will block Damon Johnson. Right there. And then Bubakar out to end the game. And talk about the passion. Wake wins by two. Freshman Robert O'Kelly, 25. 
Patterson sitting out one of the players suspended Melvin Levitt blocked by Mike Batiste Eddie House comes down and house in house Don Newman Sun Devils up 45 38 at the half third quarter some Sun Devils up 55 49 Jeremy Veal for three Veal for three he finished with 25 Sun Devils advanced to the NIT semifinals high fives all around Veal led four Sun Devils in double dips. ASU hit 25 of 30 from the charity stripe. Sun Devils now 3 and 0 will play fourth ranked Kansas. That's a treat in the semifinals next Wednesday at Madison Square Garden. 17th ranked North Carolina Charlotte at Miami. Tim James pokes it away from Galen Young. James takes it all the way the pretty scoop. James led Miami with 23. 49ers work it around. DeMarco Johnson drives in but misses the leaner. He hustles. He gets his own rebound. He had 25. Miami led by 17, though, at the break. Second half, more the same. Kevin Norris, alley -oop for Lucas Barnes. Not the first time, but the second. Barnes was 17. The Canes roll 89-72. Ozzy telling his players, maybe telling them to dunk the ball early here. Vince Carter gets the ball in the open court. And, oh, look at the showtime jam by Carter. He had 13. Then Ed Cota, the alley -oop to Adam Okalaja. He had 13 as well. Then... This time it's Antoine Jamison on the receiving end. He had a team high 17. And then Okalaja to Coda. The no look pass to Jamison for the flush. And then how about one more? Coda the alley oop to Carter. And guess what? He dunks it home as well. And the Tar Heels hit seven of their first eight. This game Saturday night to UMass, Fresno State. Fresno State down four early on. Chris Heron says, make it one. As he nails the trifecta, still down one at the half, though. Fresno State pulling away in the second half, though. Ray for Alston. Nice move through the lane. They're up 16. Then more Heron. Great baseline reverse. Two of his 19. And Tark and Heron celebrate. 14 threes by Gonzaga in the game. Third quarter. Yes, quarters. Terrell McIntyre in the break. Throws the runner. Gonzaga up 68 to 52. Fourth quarter. Richie Fromm. To Matt Santangelo, it drops. He was five for seven from out there. And John Stockton's Gonzaga takes down the.